In this workbook, we have a user form that people can use to put part orders into this workbook. And if they click this button, the user form opens up. There's a drop down list that shows the parts that we sell and another drop down for the location. It fills in the date automatically and puts in a quantity of one and you can change either the date or the quantity. When you click add this part, it stores it on another worksheet and the user can then fill in another part and, and keep going and eventually when they've put in all the orders click close form. However, even though we have these drop downs that show the valid part numbers, I can type in any part number even if it's not on the list. I can type any location, even type a number there and it will add that part but then give me an error in the code. So we want to make sure that people only select a part from the list instead of just making up their own and causing problems. So I'm going to close the form and go into the code. So I'll click the developer tab and go to Visual Basic and here's our project and here's the user form in the code. This combo box is called the CBO part and you can see its properties here and to restrict it to the items in the list I can change the match required setting from false to true and the same for the location. So for its match required I'll make it true. So that will restrict people to the list but we'll see another little problem that occurs when we do this. So I'm going back to Excel and I'll click here. Here's the part. Now I have to select from the list if I try and just type something. When I leave that combo box I get an error message. So that's good that we get that. So I have to choose from the list. The location I can't just type whatever I want in there. When I try and leave that combo box it forces me to choose from the list. So that part is good. But as part of our code, when we click add this part, it clears out those boxes. And now Excel is saying, well, an empty string is not a valid entry. Even when we try and close the form, we might see that invalid property value error message. So we don't want users to have to go through that. So something you can do to get around that is go to your list where you have all your parts and locations and I'm just going to insert a row and then we could put an item at the top that just says select. You could make this as plain or fancy as you want. I'm just going to make it look the same as the other items. So they're going to see those words at the top of the list and those will then be valid entries. And in our code, back in Visual Basic, when we go to add this part, it says clear the data and instead of an empty string, we'll put select in those boxes so users know they have to select an item. And I'll just copy that and so put that in when the form opens. So going back to Excel. Now we'll test the form again. So I'll click here. We can see the select option now. So if I select spring, warehouse, and then add that part, it automatically puts select back in these boxes. And if I click close, now I don't get that error message.